Now GJ looks good. I think I'm gonna take that GJ. If I can break that low, I'm I'm interested. This will become my stop loss. Okay, I'm in. I'm in on that. It would have been a little early. Trying to be patient with it. Not gonna be too patient. If it crosses that white line, I'm going to cut half. Okay, I cut half. Got eight minutes to news. Let's go, GJ. Let's go. There you go. I'll break the low. I got it. I don't like those three rejections there. Of course, there's a, again, there's a little demand here. Maybe reacting to that. That push up from goal before news kind of indicates to me that it wants to drop. We'll see. We got two minutes to news. Perhaps I'll just manage what I have because we have a couple minutes to news. Man, otherwise I'll be entering my second position right there. Stop loss above that wick. It should not come back. 36 seconds to news. I'm gonna take this tiny little, this tiny little profit here in 16 seconds, or reduce it. I'm gonna reduce my risk. Okay, I significantly reduce my risk now. So if it comes back my way and takes me out, no big deal. I'm gonna hold it through news. Let's see what happens. It looks like it may be taking me out. I got my stop loss above that wick. It took me out. Okay, no problem. I had already reduced my risk quite a lot. Ready now to see how gold closes. Go rejecting that top again. We may end up with a doji. Let's see, we got 18 minutes still to go. Wow, look at that. Look at that gold. Buy is changing by the second. I may put a buy stop and a sell stop on gold today. I have no idea which way it's gonna go. But the break of the 4H should, should create an opportunity. But yeah, I'm going to be, I'm going to right now start with a couple of pending orders and see which one I delete. I'm going to put a buy stop and I'm going to put a sell stop. And I'm going to wait to see which one it is, ends up being. If it ends up with a doji kind of like candle like that, then I'll keep them both on. All right. So the sell stop is in place. Let's see how it closes. It is in a downtrend on the 4H. I did a pull back. Now it's consolidating and it's not been able to break this over here. I mean, it hasn't been able to break this down here either. So we don't know which way it can go. Stop loss above, profit below, entry at the break of the low. Take profit one to one. That's in place. Now let me do the buy stop. Oops, stop loss below. Take profit above, entry above. So now both orders are in place. Uh, the most important thing about these buy stops and sell stops is to make sure you cancel the other order if one gets triggered. All right, let's see if I can go and break through. I have my entry probably five, six pips above that. Maybe even more than that. About seven pips above that. I mean, it makes my, it makes my take profit much further but it's a safer bet for getting triggered in. Um, yeah, I'm tempted to take that GJ, guys. Watch, GJ's gonna pay. So if you're taking that, stop loss goes right above that wick. And it goes GJ, GJ's already close to TP on that tiny little move. Well, I couldn't help myself. I took that, I took about 10 pips <laughs> on that. I knew it was gonna happen. I had to take it. I took 10 pips. That's good enough. Looks like it wants to trigger my sell. Okay, I'm in in the sell. I'm closing the buy. And here we go. We go for a ride. Okay, up two, three, 